Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another video with Lock with Leilani. Who is Lock with Leilani? Lock with Leilani is in New York. Where is Carlos? Right here, guys. We are headed down to Starbucks. I'm going to take you guys with me. This is a bonus video. You guys know I had to give you a bonus video. So I'm going to take you guys with us. We're going to Rise New York today. We're going to go and get lunch at Los Tacos. This is our third visit, guys. It's really, really good. So we're going to go there. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of Times Square. And we're gonna go to this um, attraction, and we're well, starting that morning off with some coffee. So it's Saturday. Today is the what's the name? The first, the first of June, guys. Happy June. We're on our way. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, and I'll see you guys in the streets of Times Square. Okay, guys. So this is the lobby of the hotel. This elevator is really fun to go through. Um, you basically get in there. It's, it's fun. It's real fun. So. Here's the um, the escalators to go up. We never took the escalators, but we're over here at Starbucks now to get some coffee to start off our day. Okay, guys, so we're actually in Times Square. You guys can see all these like fake Mickey and Minnie Mouses right here. They look real crazy, and you guys can see they have a hot dog. I don't know if that's like Oscar Mayer or what, but you guys can kind of get the real true vibe. So this is the Disney store. You guys can see, and then over here, a bunch of people walking we're actually on our way to the m&m store so i'm gonna take you guys there with me and then we're gonna get some lunch um, but this is new york here's the ground and you can see all the people walking and today is saturday it's our last day here this is a bonus video i hope that you guys enjoy it definitely make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure you guys are locked with leilani in new york there's spider-man walking there are so many different characters dressed up and they do like for you guys to tip them, but we're not doing any of that kind of stuff, but we're walking, so we're headed over to the M&M store. Hey guys, so we're walking. You guys can see them right there. Um, you can see over here. We're going to go over this way. have those stairs over there for um for what is it made for new year's eve the new year's eve performances are actually over there and not where the ball is i think i told you guys earlier um in my last video my original video that that's where they're taken but it's not okay all right Carlos is showing me that there's an actual store for us to go into if we want to get some stuff in there later uh so yeah so we're walking so we're on our way to the eminent store I think we need to probably walk back in the front bay. There's our Olive Garden right there. All right, guys, we're walking. Thank you. So we're walking down. We're walking down to the subway. subway guys this is the entry to the m the r and the w okay guys we braved coming down in the subway station we are in times square but we came down here a train just passed by us but this is where you actually ch uh, check in um, there's also an Omni app that you can use, and then these these are the ones that kind of pull around the circle. There's Carlos. We we did it, right? We came down here, yeah. And this was not that dirty down here. I haven't seen a rat yet, so that's kind of good. But um, I think the train is coming, so Carl said to kind of hang out right here. The ones coming on this side for these guys, they're waiting for the train. But there's a lot of families and stuff down here. I don't see that they're real crazy. 
Um, there are some people on the opposite side, which I didn't know that there were two sides. But here comes another train, guys. You hear it? It's coming the opposite way. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. What? Look at that. What? Look at that. That's pretty cool, you guys. Subway car. There we go. So we made it to Rise, New York. So we're about to go in here. This is the sign up here. Statue of Liberty. And we're going here. It's a beautiful Cadillac truck. That's my next car, y'all. Um, and a lot of people do car service. We're doing car service too when we leave New York in the morning. So we're about to walk into Rise, New York. Uh, yeah, so let's go in. These are VIP necklaces, one to the second floor.
Hey guys, so I have made it back home from New York and I just wanted to come on. I look terrible right now because I just got off the airplane. I'm literally tired. My husband stopped to get food. We had to pick my car up from the airport hotel that we left it at when we went to Hawaii in 2016. Yes, the Christmas is still up behind me, but I just wanted to come on. This is part of my bonus video that I promised you guys, the items that I picked up from New York. I was going to share with you guys the stuff that my son got that we brought him back. I'm not going to do that. I'll just tell you what we got him. We got him a long like navy blue sweatshirt. And it has yellow letters on there. It says New York on it. You guys will probably see him in a future video, maybe wearing it. Um, and then my husband bought him a, like a little small like license plate um, that has a J on it for his first name initial. And then for my daughter, we ended up picking her up like, um, you know how New York is like known for rats. She likes a little stuffed animal type stuff like that. So it's like a little stuffed animal rat. <laughs> it's totally something that she would pick up when she was there. I know it sounds weird, but she would totally pick that up. Um, and then we also got her, I bought her a little small Starbucks pouch that's like New York from the Starbucks stores. You know, sometimes they have those little coin purses or like little card purses. I got her one of those really tiny, like $8.95. I got her one of those. Uh, we got her two New York, um, you know, beanie caps. Um, one is beige and it has an NY on it. I think NY or NYC. And then there's a black one too. So she can wear those. She likes to wear those. So we got her those. And then we got her a sweatshirt. And I think that's it. And then my husband got a cap, a, a New York cap. That's like kind of like a beigey color. And then he got like a zip up gray, kind of like fleecy, jacket that he can wear like a jacket so they all three have jackets i have a pullover well me and my son and my daughter will have a pullover my husband bought a zip up jacket so we all have like something warm that we can wear when we go out in the evenings and things like that so i'm gonna go over the stuff that i have here hopefully i have everything in front of me that are my items um because i want to show you guys what i got so if you guys have watched my first vlog video for the three days that we were in new york we had an amazing time you guys i'm totally already missing new york like when I was in the airport, I kind of did not want to leave because I was like, oh my gosh, I ended up having such a good time. All the bad things and the things that people were warning me about and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, some of that stuff was true to a degree, but it wasn't as bad as they were saying. But you definitely need to watch your back when you're there because, um, you know, people know that you're a tourist, especially if you're walking around in a New York hat, right? But I didn't care. I wanted to wear my New York hat. I wanted a black hat that was New York. I wanted the kind that has a snap in the back. But I wasn't able to get one like that. So this is just the one that pulls over. But you guys saw me wearing this in a video. I love this hat. I will be wearing it again. I don't know when. But it looks really pretty with my braids. And I don't usually wear baseball caps. Because I feel like my face is flat. It's round. And then, I don't know. I just feel like I don't look right. I feel like I look like a boy in caps. But this cap did me justice. And I just felt so proud to be, watch, to be wearing it. So I did get this one. And I had this one already. So I think I paid like $10 for this one. Five or eight, to, eight or $10. I can't remember. Um, the next thing that I did was all this stuff is not in order, but I'm just showing you guys the stuff that I bought. Um, this one is just a bracelet. This is just a, um, like a charm bracelet I found yesterday at a store on Times Square. It definitely is really pretty. It looks like Pandora. I don't usually wear fake Pandora bracelets because they usually tarnish even faster. Pandora tarnishes too, don't get me wrong. But this one was pretty. I wore it to the Wiz because I forgot my Pandora bracelets at home. I actually forgot my Pandora bracelets at home. So I ended up buying this one and I wore this to the Wiz show. But this one's really pretty. It has Statue of Liberty on here. And then it has, um, it has a subway on here. And then it has a taxi. And then I think that's Empire State. And then it has like the two masks for theater. And then it has an apple on there. But this one's really pretty. It has like a combination of gold and silk. Okay, guys. So what else um, do I have over here? I wanted to show, what you, got, show you guys that I got. So I also got... Um, this is a Disney store from New York. So I went there and I knew I wanted to get this Minnie Mouse. Uh oh, she has a little bit of makeup on her face, but this is the Statue of Liberty Minnie Mouse. I'm not really crazy about the white version of the Mickey and Minnie. It's like classic, but I knew when I saw this a few years ago on some other vlogs of people going to New York that I wanted to get this one. So I did pick this one up. It's just one size. So I picked her up and then I also found this adorable... Um, New York lounge fly with Mickey and Minnie. This one was really cute. So I did pick this one up. Um, some of the stuff was on sale at the, um, at the uh, Disney store. Everything was not like full price because you guys know Disney stores are pretty much closed. Now you can only get to them like at the outlets. But um, I did pick up those two items from there. And then I have a Hershey bag because we went to the Hershey store. And so this is the cute little bag that they give you to put your stuff in. I forgot my daughter's actually in the kitchen right now. We actually got her an ice cream scoop as well. So this was the ice cream scoop that I saw with the M&M on it. So we picked that up for her. Let me give that to her. Um, yeah, uh-huh. 
And then um, they had on sale a $7 blanket. I have to see if she wants it. But they had a, um, a $7 M&M blanket. I just bought it because I was like, you know what, $7? You can't beat an M&M blanket for $7. So I did pick that one up. And then what else did I get? All these things were purchased on different days, by the way. And then I also we went to the Wiz stage play. That was pretty awesome. Um, this I'll probably go over probably at a later date. But this is called a playbill. When you go to like a, a show on Broadway, when you go to like a New York stage play, they have what's called a playbill. And I've seen this before, but I really didn't understand what it was for, but, or what was all in it. But apparently it has like, um, where it was held. It has a bunch of information on the different characters, other stuff in here. And it has like, um, a lot of information on the different, uh, parts of different, you know, plays and stuff like that. And you can have the, um, the actors at the end of a show, if they're available or around, you can have them sign your playbill. That's what I was told that you could do, but we didn't stay afterwards because last night the show ended a little bit after 10, we were going to be leaving our hotel at 2.30. So I literally never got any rest. That's why I look so busted right now. I literally got, I took a shower and stuff late last night, like probably after midnight. And I put makeup on and I just like hung out and then it was time for us to leave. And we did take car service and the car service was totally fine and safe. Um, and then the Wiz, this is like a reusable like cup. I don't think I'm going to use it again, but this is what my blended pina colada, which was disgusting, was in when we went to see that show. And then I did pick up just a little small little item from the Wiz and this is it right here the little stuffed um lion so I picked that up uh, let's see what else I have here in front of me um I did get a New York coffee mug from one of the little gift shops it was just a pink coffee mug that just says like Empire State Building it says Big Apple Manhattan New York um it just says New York Taxi it says Broadway it says movie it says Times Square it says Statue of Liberty it just has a bunch of stuff all over it. And then on the handle, it just says New York on it. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I did pick that up. And then I have quite a bit more stuff that I'm going to share with you guys as well. Um, I also went to the Cake Boss. You guys know I went to Carlos Bakery. So when I went there, I picked up the Carlos Bakery mug. That's the first mug I picked up when I was there. Um, I ended up getting a spatula of Carlos Bakery for like my baking. And then we went to the 9-11 Memorial um, Museum and uh, the site. And so we actually um, got these. You have to donate whatever amount of money you want to inside this little box. And then they had a bunch of bracelets there. So we just put a couple dollars in there for donation. And then we just took the two bracelets. That's fine. I just turn the microwave on. So that's fine. Um, this is the Carlo Bakery bag, which I feel like I need to bring this home because I thought this was cool to have it from their bakery on Times Square. And then I just picked up this bear, which I thought was really cute. Um, he has like a little hat on. So I put him in my kitchen with my Starbucks bear from a long time ago that has a red apron for Christmas. This one was super cute. It's supposed to be Buddy. So Buddy is the um, is the lead chef or baker with, um, with Carlos Bakery, which is um, the bakery. Uh, what's the name of the show? I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. Um, Carlos Bakery. And I know because I just talked about it. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just, I mentioned it the other day when I was talking about it um, from uh, Cake Boss. So Cake Boss. So this is how his outfit looks. He wears the, the black and white checker with the top and then with the hat from Cake Boss. So that's what this is. So this little bear looks like that. And then I also got the mug. I have to be really careful with bringing it back home because I didn't want it to break. It's not a real gigantic mug, but it's just like a cute little mug. It's just like memorabilia for going there. My husband did pick up a mug like this as well for himself because it looks like it says Carlos, but his name is Carlo with an apostrophe S, right? And then it says Buddy on the back with him holding a cake. It's just a cute little mug, you know, just a little memorabilia for being in New York. Um, what else did I get? Um, I have some other items too I'm going to share with you guys, but I'm trying to break this up between Instagram because I just got home and I'm really tired, but I don't want to put all this stuff away and that I didn't share it with you guys because a couple of you guys wanted to see the stuff. And I also wanted to share it with you guys um, on Instagram and here in the YouTube space. So um, I'm just adding this to my bonus video. So you guys will be able to see this on this video, which is considered the bonus video. So I did two videos, uh, a, day, a, a day one, day two, day three vlog video that you guys will have seen before this one goes up. And then this one is just kind of like a miscellaneous day of just me doing different things. And then you guys are getting um, all the items that I purchased while I was in New York. So. Let me take a little small pause so I can switch some things out, share this stuff on Instagram, and then I'll come back and I will finish up the other half of the items that I picked up. Okay, guys, so the last part of the items that I wanted to share with you guys 
I have the um, the Jingers coffee from the Jingers cheesecake. This is the um, most fabulous Brooklyn blend medium roast, and it's a ground coffee. And I told you guys before, you guys can find this at Dollar Tree. They don't have it all the time, but they have a little tiny pack where you can probably get like maybe two pots of coffee. That's it. But this is what that coffee came from. This particular restaurant that's in New York, and this New York New York restaurant started in Brooklyn, New York. But we have gone to the one we went to the one rather in Manhattan. So. That's what we have here, but I probably will make some coffee tomorrow with that. And then the Junior's bag looks like this. I thought that was super cute, so I'm done with it now. And then, of course, you guys saw the Carlos Bakery bag looks like this. So now I'm gonna put now I'm gonna put those items down or away. And then I also have this apron. I'm sorry, my phone fell, but I'm not gonna redo the video because it's just way too much. So this is the apron that I bought at our hotel. It's really nice, like a thick, it feels like denim. And it's just really pretty. It just says, um, what does it say? It says New York City, and it says, all you need is a cupcake. It's really pretty. It just has like a lot of colors and stuff on it. It has the Statue of Liberty on there. It has cupcakes. It has like, you know, sugar, and it has the Empire State Building. And it's just really pretty. So I picked this one up because I thought it was so nice and it said New York on it. So I was like, I need to get that one. And then it's pink. And then it has the black and white kind of stripy colors that go in with it. it just kind of goes together. It's really nice. So I did pick that up. Um, I think that's almost everything, you guys. And then I picked up this sweatshirt. This one says NYPD. I know like NYPD doesn't really get the best like, you know, press on TV and stuff like that over the years. But I didn't buy it because of the police department itself. I just bought it because I thought it was a really nice sweatshirt. I like the colors of the blue with the orange together um, or that like not orange necessarily but like a yellow. I just thought it was really pretty. And then I bought this one because I liked the thickness of it too. It feels like it's really warm. And then it says NYPD on the side here. I think this one was, I think it was $20 for this one. It's just a pullover and then it has a pocket in the center. So now me and all my family members have a nice sweater to wear. I'm going to throw this in the washer too with the clothes that I'm washing for my trip. And then the last thing that I picked up was this sweater because I was gonna get a different jacket that just said New York and I saw this one. I do like the tanks. I have one like this that is from Target that I bought a couple years ago. I think it says mom or something on it, but it's just like a solid kind of sweater, but it's also a crop like this. It looks very similar to this one, but this one is real stretchy. Just says New York on it and like this pretty kind of like blue green color. And then it does have a hood on the back. So this is perfect for me to wear like to the gym or, you know, just if I just wanna throw it on top of something, it's just like a crop. Super cute and easy to kind of put on. I'm going to wash this one as well. So, yeah, guys, I think that concludes my video. I'm trying to think if I have anything else that I want to share with you guys. I don't think so. I think that's everything. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the bonus video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you guys do not miss another video. Turn your notifications on. And let me know what you guys liked the most in this video and what you guys thought about the bonus video. And I'm back home now, you guys. I'm missing New York, though. I won't even lie. I'm missing it. I'm missing it a little bit. Um, I was there for three days. It felt longer because we did so much walking. We did so many things in such a short amount of time. Everything was like kind of pushed in together. But luckily, we were able to make things happen. But it was definitely an adventure. I told my kids I feel like they need to go so they can see. My daughter said she's game to try. My son said the same thing. So we'll probably make another adventure to go there. Um, I don't know exactly when I can try to make that happen. We're actually right now, you know, planning and saving and paying on our Florida trip to go to Walt Disney World next year around the same time. So we're doing that. So that's a big trip for all four of us. So we will be doing that. So you guys will have that to look forward to those videos next year, which will be here before you know it. But we're gonna do that. And then we're thinking about going to Hawaii back to the Alani Resort when my daughter graduates from high school. So we have two trips, two big trips that we're definitely gonna do the next two years. The New York trip is not really a big trip, but it could be a pricey trip depending on, you know, when you pay for it, how many people are going, which was one of the reasons why we decided to just do the two of us because it was a good amount of money with the two of us. It's going to be double for the four of us. And then we went for our anniversary trip. And we've never gone anywhere like out of state before together. So we're like, let's just travel and go have a little adventure and go somewhere. Let's just go to New York, you know, for a couple of days, just for the weekend, basically. And just kind of, you know, have some fun. So we had a good time. Everything was pretty chill. My husband was on pretty good behavior, not too much grouchiness. And he was, <laughs> he was all right, I guess. But um, we had a really good time. And I even ran to a couple um, Disney friends that I was um, kind of like, you know, in circles with on um, or in the Disney space. So I, it was a husband and wife 
and their daughter was there. So I ran into them there. So I spoke with them and we took picture. We took a picture and stuff like that. So I was definitely um, excited to see them because I had never met them before. I just remember them being in a Disney space, which was pretty awesome. Um, I know that the husband is from New York, but I saw a video of them recently where they were visiting New York, but I did not know they were there at that time. So I happened to see them at my hotel. They were actually staying at my hotel. So I thought that was kind of cool. So we got a chance, my husband got a chance to meet them. And I did like that he was able to meet them because he kind of got a chance to kind of see what I'm doing. Because I think sometimes when you don't really know the content creation world, you just think that somebody's wasting time or, you know, they're not making any money per se. They're maybe getting a few things, which is what I've gotten over the last couple of years. But you don't really get it until you meet like some other people. So he was able to meet, you know, another African-American couple like us. And it's also a husband and wife that's my age and they have a son and daughter our kids ages so they can kind of see like what I got going on and like you know why I'm so like involved in it you know just influencing and how much I enjoy it so I was able to kind of tell Matt and then even after that he's like well I would love to see some more of your videos or you know so then he took like an interest because he like met the husband of the lady that was there they're um, a husband and wife duo um you know Disney create creator um uh family and he was able to meet the husband and he liked him and stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I definitely want to see some of their stuff. And I want to see some more of your stuff. So I think he kind of realized, I think sometimes people don't get it until they meet other people that's like-minded. And that's just with anything, right? So I definitely love to do content creation. My stuff has not grown like I wanted to either on Instagram or here yet. But I know you guys enjoy it. Those of you that do um, follow me on Instagram and those of you that are subscribed to me here, you guys do give me good input and you guys are definitely positive. So I do it for those that actually you know, interact with me and stuff like that. And then eventually maybe it will grow. I still do it for fun. It's kind of a hobby for me right now. So I just still kind of do it. But I also like to give you guys like, you know, really good, you know, informative uh, videos and stuff like that. And those that follow me, you guys like the detailed information, all that stuff like that. Some people don't, they just want quick, you know, but I'm not a quick person. So I'm like, I have to explain everything, give you guys price points, explain how stuff went, because I want you guys to like have all the facts and things like that. But on that note, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus video. And going forward again like i said we have father's day we have a community luau coming up the saturday before father's day and then my husband's birthday is on the 29th of june we're going to be going back to universal studios we went to universal studios last year in november for my daughter sweet 16 if you guys remember that video we're going back for my husband's birthday so i will be doing a video then as well i'm not i'm not sure how long it's going to be because we did one for my daughter's video and it was pretty good length and you guys got the detail and stuff so i'm not sure how long this video is going to be but we are going to go and I will share it. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. You guys, thanks so much for your support and for watching and, you know, subscribing if you guys are subscribed and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.